Well, first of all, congratulations, Tyson. Thank um, you. Talk to me a little bit about just kind of what this night means for you, first yeah. of all, personally. Uh, it's great. You know, uh, coming into the season from high school, you know, this is definitely a goal of mine was to be a top performer in uh, university football. And I definitely feel like I proved myself this year. And I'm glad my team was able to build around me, you know, and, and practice, you know, make me where I am right now. And, you know, it's, it's all to them. Well, was it about the offense that this team kind of ran this year that allowed you to step right in and really have the kind of season you did? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we run a very high-paced uh, passing offense, so definitely was able to get right in right away and uh, also give credit to the receivers for definitely just uh, being like big brothers and picking you up and uh, just helping you be the best you can be. What would you say you learned the most this year? I definitely learned just to... Uh, if something doesn't go your way right around, right away, then just uh, to keep battling out because your offense is that being that high powered. We're, we're going to score regardless, and we're going to put points on the board. What was your thoughts uh, first and foremost getting nominated, and then to hear your name uh, announced? Uh, it was very cool. You know, I've never been a part of something this big before this this award, and it's just great. You know, knowing that all my hard work uh, that I put in in the off season is is going to. Uh, it's just, yeah. Can you talk about the company that you beat out some incredible names yeah. amongst you? Oh yeah, I definitely. I when I knew I was nominated against them, I, I checked all their huddles. You know, <laughs> wanted to see what I was up against, and definitely a great competition. They all had great years, and I'm glad I could be beside them. How much is this a motivation factor for you heading forward? Yeah, definitely. Uh, not being able to fill our goals this year and make it to the Vanier was uh, definitely a heartbreaker. So gonna. Go into the off season, uh, working as hard as ever, and you know, just trying to come out next year and make it to the venue. I was just gonna say, how do you avoid that sophomore drinks that we always hear so much about? Yeah, I just gotta uh, put your nose down, keep keep the hard work going, and you know, it'll pay off. And last question, just thoughts on it. friends, family, people that helped you get to this moment. No, yeah, definitely. A shout out to my my mom and my father. Uh, they definitely been my role models on and off the field. Uh, all, all my coaches have uh, definitely been just been great, great to me. And you know, next year we're, we're gonna come out. Talk about the emotions of winning that award, though, and especially against the competition tonight. Yeah, you know, it, it's exciting. It's pretty bittersweet, though. You know, it's not how we wanted to end it, but nonetheless, it it, it was a memorable season. So uh, I'm proud of my team. Couldn't have done this without them. You know, like I said, it's a culmination of all our hard work. Even it goes all the way down to the practice squad, you know, all those guys grinding it out. So I really, I wouldn't be here without any of them, you know. Uh, a lot of the talk there about the new uh, football playoff format, you know, and saying What's that it? It, it, it's a disappointing year for you, for you guys yeah. this year. How big of an impact, you know, a new football format uh, for the playoffs. What, what's what, the proposal? Is there a proposal? Well, they were talking about uh, changing everything because of uh, the lack of competition out of here uh, okay. East and everything. So, yeah, yeah. how big would, uh, of an impact would it, would you see uh, being done on, on I mean, I, City football? I know what you're getting. Yeah. I think the, the the final games, the final like three yeah. games, would be a little more competitive for the national stage. That being said, you know, like the goal is to win your conference. Exactly. So. Um, if you win your conference, you put yourself in a good position and hopefully you can, you know, make a run for it. Yeah. To put your name beside Andrew Buckley, uh, Greg Marshall, one of the coach of your award, yeah. also won this award. Oh, yeah. Uh, can you just talk about putting your name uh, yeah. amongst legacies? You know, you know, I'm, I'm pretty upset at myself. Um, I, uh, I forgot to mention them in my speech. I had it and I accidentally <laughs> skipped it. So I'd like to say it here now um, to Coach Glav, uh, Eric Glavik. Andrew Buckley and Greg Vavra, they've been mentors for me, you know, these past few seasons and, you know, they've, they've really showed me the ropes and supported me so much. So I'd just like to say thank you to them. You know, I wouldn't be standing here without them as well. Yeah. And it's pretty special to be amongst greats like that. You mentioned your disappointment in the overall season, but how much of a motivation factor is this award for you heading forward? Huge, huge. You know, it's not how we wanted to end it. And I have one year left and I'm going to work my ass off. So. Um, hope we're gonna have an older team, you know, not as not as young. So, hopefully, we can go out, beat up the Can West, and make a run for it. Will you watch the game on Saturday? Uh, <laughs> I mean, for maybe yeah. for motivation, or I don't know. Or... I watched it last year, and it, I'll watch a bit of it. You know, I'll, I'll keep my eye on it. It'll be there. Anybody you want to win? No. <laughs> Not really. Sorry. <laughs>
Thank you. What is uh, what is the CFL partnership meant to you uh, in terms of your own uh, personal development? Oh, it's huge. You know, anytime you can learn from pros like that, especially two of the best that do it in in the country, you know, you can't really gain much better experience than that. So, you know, I, I value my time with them very highly, and um, you know, I used it going forward into the season, and uh, you know. I, I think they're part of that as well, this award. And is there a motivation, like not having a Canadian quarterback in the CFL and saying, oh, I'd like to prove them wrong and, yeah, all and I, show, I like to show them up? Yeah, all the time, you know, like you don't see many two Canadians. And I feel like we can play, you know, yeah. some of us. But ultimately, it's what you put on tape. If you don't put, you know, your best foot forward on tape, and if you do get a little shot, you better take advantage of it because – you know, it's a business. You're not going to get, you know, a freebie. A freebie just because you're Canadian. So, and I don't want that to happen. You know, um, so that being said, like, I love competing, and you know, um, and I think I think our product is getting better in Canada. Yeah.